that was like World War II. They pulled him out of the vehicle and hung they stripped him down, burned him, yep. and hung him upside down naked from a bridge. Correct. Dudes would be dumping entire belts or entire cans of Mark 19 rounds. Spectre was clear hot and it would just, we'd watch it and it would just circle and just hammer all night long. In the plan was casualties. Fallujah 2004. I mean, that shit was like World War II. Like, it, it's not comparable to... Did you know you were going to Fallujah yeah, yeah, early yeah. on? Uh, uh, maybe a month before we went out. I, I don't know exactly. Uh, no, maybe it was like only two weeks. What was happening in theater at that time? Had we taken Fallujah yet? No, so at that time, at that time, this is... Uh, I forget the month, but relatively early 2004 this is um after this is like maybe two or three months after the blackwater incident in fallujah so at the time fallujah was surrounded by, by the marine corps the the blackwater incident that you're talking about for the audience is when they were in the contractors they pulled them out of the vehicle and hung they stripped them. them down burned them yep and hung them upside down naked from a bridge correct yeah, that was maybe three months prior, but but around that time. So at that time, Fallujah was surrounded by, uh, well, several, uh, was it divisions? Uh, I, I, I forget my Marine Corps structure, but you know, they were surrounded. Literally the entire city was surrounded. Um, but that was, that was interesting. I mean, it was, you know, just crazy. I mean, Let's dive into it. Um, well, I mean, it was just, uh, I mean, operationally, there wasn't. What were you guys doing? So we were there to essentially develop targets and um, assist. Um, so we ended up assisting the Marine Corps uh, several times. Um, there's a couple, uh, times Marine units got in trouble and, um, like, I mean, just one as an example was, uh, uh, they were taking fire and they couldn't get the building anyways. And we had a SOFLAM. So we ended up going there and calling in CAS and, but yeah, I mean, you're calling CAS in the city. Mm -hmm. like freaking F-18s dropping bomb. I mean, it was, you know, it was like, you know, away in the, you know, during like NOM. Like, I mean, I mean, put it this way. I'm sure you know, like, you couldn't have Mark 19s in Baghdad. Mm -hmm. In Fallujah, like, dudes would be dumping entire belts or, ent or entire cans of Mark 19 rounds. I mean, it was just, it was, there were, if you saw someone, you could shoot them. Mark 19 for those who don't know, is a grenade launcher. An automatic grenade launcher. An automatic <laughs> grenade launcher. Um, a, but, can of, a can of, what, 50 Mike might is what, 50 rounds? Uh, 50 I think grenades? It's like, I think it's 32. I can't remember. 32? There's two sizes of cans. I forget the larger one. But, um, but yeah, the rules of engagement, if you saw someone, you could shoot them. Like, saw them. Um, I mean, you know. Just, it was like, I mean, at night, you know, Spectre was cleared hot and it would just, we'd watch it and it would just circle and just hammer like all night long. Wow. And then it would go off station when it was Winchester and another one would come on and just freaking keep up all night, all night. Um... The, but yeah, Fallujah, you know, there was some, um, you couldn't go in. I mean, that wasn't possible. Um, so everything was done around the outside because like one Marine unit pushed in, I think like a hundred yards and it was so, it was so bad tanks had to, uh, uh, Abrams had to come get him out. I mean, it was that intense. I know who that was. He was in here. 
for that interview for an interview. What, uh, which one? His name's Cody Alford. He talks about. Was he a Marine? Yep. He talks about working side by side with you guys. Okay, so so that I was I was there. Yeah. Who he's directly referring to, uh, though, is probably my buddy, who's the medic that saved. Um, well, he he almost saved a guy. He he saved him, and then he saved him, and then he dumped him off, and they pushed IVs and blew out all the clotting that he had developed. I, I know it's a shitty story. He um, said that he said that you guys were telling them that you had never seen shit like this before. Oh, that, that was going I mean, down over there. That was like when those guys, I mean, I, 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 I assume from what I was told that it was what Smalley was like. I, I assume, I don't, I don't know, but yeah, I mean, they got hit hard, like hard, hard. Um, at daybreak, you know, um, I mean, mortars, RPGs, PKMs. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was, it was big. Um, and but yeah, I mean, that was, that was, again, it just that fucking Abrams shooting into the city. Yeah. <laughs> like the main gun. That's <laughs> it was, crazy. It was just insane. I, and again, I, so what were you, were you guys just roaming the battlefield yeah, pretty per, much, just per, killing per, bad guys? Or I mean, was there a very specific we, target we were, set that you were after? Because it seems, at that, at it that, seems counterintuitive time, to insert a team well, we just were, to roam. We, we were trying to develop targets for ourselves, but it just, but you, you couldn't. Like you couldn't. You, you could not fly there. Yeah. You could not drive in and you could not insert a helicopter. Well, how the hell were you guys going to develop targets for yourself? Well, that's what we were I mean, we didn't know that until we <laughs> you okay. know, started to go through the process, but that was the intent was to develop targets and then, you know, spending the time there is like no like it's not nothing we could do. Um I set in on the invasion briefings and all that. Yeah, I met General Mattis, who was a legend then, you know, let alone later. Um, and uh, and then <laughs> we, were, <laughs> we were there for the the big gun trade in, to where they traded in like crew serve weapons. I forget what they got, but they turned in basically they dx their old non working stuff. Just hilarious shit, you know. But, um, uh, yeah, so, I mean, we just ended up doing a lot of stuff with the Marine Corps. Just, you know, I mean, we hit targets with the Marine Corps. Um, so I learned a lot about, about the Marine Corps, just working with them, uh, that, that deployment. What was your impression of them? Uh, in short, Marines are solid dudes to get fucked. Like, Are they good at what they do? Yes, but they're always doing it without the proper resources. It's almost like their command is like, we'll show you how shitty of conditions our Marines can operate in. Like, that's yeah. how I felt about it. You know? Damn, that's uh, a yeah, fucking shame. It, that's how I felt, you know? And I was just like, like, I, I'll tell you right now i walked out of the invasion briefing no I shit fucking got up and walked out i was pissed i was fucking pissed what what, what were you pissed about what specifically the plan i listened to the plan and i was just like and dude i was i mean what were you pissed about though were you pissed that we were sending in 18 year old kids into a into no, a fucking I was, kill zone? Were you I was, pissed that they didn't have the resources they need to accomplish I was, the mission? I was mission? pissed at how stupid the plan was. I was pissed that in the plan was casualties. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist 
of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.